Hey guys, we're back with another Funko video, and uh, today's pretty cool. We're excited because we got a new camera, so hopefully things look a lot better and sound a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, today we went up into town and we stopped at the dollar store, and we found a bunch of pops. Yeah, it's really exciting, because they generally go for about $2, and then their yeah. actual value is like... Normal prices, which is like around ten to eight dollars. Yeah. So every pop that you're gonna see today was a dollar ninety nine. And uh, as we go, we'll try to display uh, the price that they're going for, um, so you guys can see. All right. So this first one is from Gotham. It's Fish Mooney. Um, not too familiar with the show. We watched it a little bit, but. I think we watched like two episodes and we never got back into it. Yeah. But uh. But she looks pretty cool. I think she's supposed to be a villain. Mm. I don't know. I keep seeing previews for it and. Yeah. She's always struck me as a villain. Villainess. Let's see if it stands up. Okay. That's all right. Got a little bit of red and <laughs> the gold, gold eyeshadow. Eye That's pretty cool. Mm. So this next one is uh, from Gears of War, Del Walker. And it looks like he has a buzz saw. Something like that. Yeah. Um, we After the dollar store, we went to a couple other places and we saw him <laughs> there for 10 bucks. Yeah. So that was kind of cool too. So... Saved eight bucks there. Yeah. Um, it's always worth it to go to the dollar store if you can. Yeah, we, we kind of lucked out because we've gone there before. and It's only every yeah, once in a great while that they'll do they'll it. They'll only have a couple. But today, they just they had quite a bit. Yeah, they've been doing pretty well with them. So, yeah. It's like a little buzzsaw or something. Yeah. He's got a little <laughs> goat. Some facial hair. This next one I'm really excited about because I love the series. And it's the ninth Doctor. He's actually the one that I first started watching when they rebooted the series. So, yeah. He's not everyone's favorite. He was only in there for one season. But I like him. Yeah. When I saw this there, uh, Rose didn't notice it at first. And I was like, hey, uh, so do you like the Ninth Doctor? And she's like, yeah. So I was like, well, check this out. So she got pretty happy about that. Yeah. I like it. They gave him his leather coat and everything. And it's a little sonic screwdriver. Oh, I thought that was a microphone. Yeah, it's a sonic screwdriver. Every, every time I see a pop holding like some kind of stick, <laughs> you I, just, think it's I just assume else. it's a microphone. Alright, so this next one is from Secret Life of Pets, and this is exciting because it's a Target exclusive, but it was at the dollar store. Um, and it's, it, it's Insane Snowball. I think you have three of those pet pops now. Yeah, the, the Secret Life. Uh, it's kind of a cute movie. The... I think, I thought it was a carrot, but it looks like a key. It's a carrot that he fashioned into a key. I think it's when he helps them escape the dog catcher. Oh, that's a nice little pop. <laughs> yeah. I like how they made him look kind of demonic. So this next one is an Independence Day one. Jake Morrison. Um, I could be from the new one, but... Yeah, it's the new one. It says Resurre Re Resurrection on there. Oh, uh, okay. Resurgence? Something, I can't, <laughs> it's really small. But it says it on there. I never, did I never watch the new one? No, but I, I didn't I remember either. when the, that first one came out, like in 94 or something. Uh -huh. It was a big deal. People were like, like yeah. going crazy over that movie. I actually think I watched it at a drive-in movie theater. Oh, yeah? Yeah. When they still had those. Yeah. There might still be some here and there, but... The only thing I remember from that original one was uh, Will Smith punching the alien. 
and saying welcome to Earth. <laughs> yeah. This this it, one's pretty cool though. He's like in a jumpsuit, like a a flight it looks suit. Looks like he might have a parachute. Oh, no. Look at the back. Oh. No, it's just mm. just a flight suit. Yeah. So this next one is a Elder Scroll one. Nord. Really don't know this character all that well. Do you know any anything about that? Besides it being I, a game? I know it's a game and I know it's kind of popular, but I don't really know this. Hmm. Have you heard anything? You know, else? this figure looks pretty cool. Yeah. Like, some of these game ones, they're like, they look really cool and it's just, it makes you wonder about the game in the first place. Like, one of his horns is broken off? Yeah. I mean, I, it looks cool. I kind of wonder if he's like a villain or something. It, he kind of strikes me as one. I think, I think it's uh, one of those games that doesn't have a storyline. It's just kind of like, a, like an open world game. You uh, pick a character like and you just interact world with of people. Warcraft. Something like that. Uh. But it, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think they did a good job with it. And it looks like they did a lot of detailed work. <laughs> I like the braids. Yeah. I like, to, I like how it has like a piece of a cape there. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. So, yeah, this next one is a WWE, right? It's WWF. Oh. <laughs> well, now it's WWE, but uh, Zan... Did that guy have a Xavier trumpet? Woods? Yeah, he does. And a unicorn horn? Maybe he's supposed to be like a rhinoceros or something. <laughs> It kind of reminds me of that one episode of South Park. Wasn't one of them like a rhino or something? Yeah. I'm guessing that might be... Look at his shoes! Oh! He's got little flames, too. Yeah, I don't I don't know anything about wrestling th these days. But, uh, he has a horn. <laughs> All kinds of braids. I wonder if he takes his trumpet with him to, to the ring and, like, hits people with it. That would be kind of interesting. So, this one's from Sherlock. Uh, Irene Adler. Um, looks like they did a good job. I'm just not very familiar. I'm not sure which Sherlock it's supposed to be. I, or... I guess there's a TV show. Yeah, there is a TV show. Is there more than one? Yeah. There's to, um, I think the other one might be called Elementary. Mm. There's like an American version, I think. I can't remember one of the guys in it, but she looks good. I thought, I'm guessing this is a scarf one. I thought it was like some, someone's uh, hair that she pulled off and oh. just took with her. No, I think it's like a fur oh, okay. thing. So this next one is a Star Wars one. We barely got, we don't have a lot of Star Wars, mm. but it's from the Rebels. It's a cartoon, actually. Mm. And this kid is, like, desperate to be a Jedi. Have you seen this show? Uh, like a couple episodes, maybe. But I remember this kid. Mm. And there's, like, I think there might be one Jedi in it. Oh, I just noticed he has a lightsaber. Yeah. The cool thing about all the Star Wars pops is that they all have stands. Oh, I love well, the stands on the these ones. The ones that I... Do all of them have Yeah. Or? From what I've seen of every one that's out there, they all seem to have those stands. And, like, I wish pretty much every, everyone could make a stand like that. Because so many of the stands are so... They're just... His lightsaber is, has the handle like it's a pirate yeah. sword. It looks... And it's a bobblehead. <gasps> oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't know they came off. Yeah, they're just stands. Oh, I thought they were like permanently <laughs> on the stand, but... Huh? He still looks like he's in good shape. This next one is another one. Um, Another Star Wars one. Snap Wexley. Wex Wexley? I think he's from oh, this you know new... who he I think that's um Porkinson? The, no <laughs> Yeah. That's what I thought. He's the he was in Heroes, remember? The cop I think he was? Yeah. And he was a pilot in episode seven or something. Yeah, I think that's, that's what I was thinking it was. It's Porkins definitely Porkins <laughs> son. <laughs> 
That's what I think. You know what but Star I Wars? I could be completely wrong on that. Uh, what Star Wars one I really want to get is uh, Luke Skywalker and the X-Wing. Um, I've been seeing more of the... The... Alright, let's see if I can do this. The less without. Jedi ones. Bubble. Why do they... Sometimes, like, the pops... Like, it'll be in the package with the face facing straight. But yeah. when you take it out, it'll be, like, kind of to the side a little bit. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think they do it purposely. Here's another Star Wars Rebel. Zeb. I think he might also be another one of the Rebels. But, like I said, I've only seen like maybe two or three episodes of it, so I never really got into it. Hmm. But I'm also not the biggest Star Wars fan. I remember when that first... That would first... be Ducky. <laughs> when that first Star Wars animated series, I think it was like Clone Wars or something. Yeah, Clone Wars. I tried watching it and I was watching into it and then I saw like they were already on a second like show. And after that I just kind of... It, it's hard to watch a show when you're like so far behind already. Yeah. I think this is supposed to but, take place between the prequels and the original trilogy. Hmm. It looks cool, though. So, that's it for the Star, Star Wars. Wars. This next one is from Arrow. It's Black Canary. I haven't really watched Arrow, but I watched, like, DC's Legend of Tomorrow, and I think it's the same character, where she becomes the White Canary after she's resurrected from the Lazarus Pit. Yeah, I I don't never seen any of those, like DC shows or the Marvel shows. Some of them are pretty good. Like after the first season of DC Legends of Tomorrow, I stopped watching because one of my favorite characters is Hot Girl, and oh, this one's heavy. And she's only in the first season. I've read a lot of hate on her, like they didn't like her at all, but I on this, did. On this character? No, on a hot girl. The thing with hot girl, she keeps getting resurrected. Hot girl and hot man. So this next one is from Lost. I never really got into the show, but it's the man in black. I think he's supposed to represent the devil or something. That show is so weird. I've I've read and heard so much about it, but I don't know. I kind of want to watch it, but I watch like parts of the first episode and just. Isn't it one of those shows that people say uh, like the ending of the series is like super disappointing or something? Yeah, but there's a lot out there, like Dexter. Like I never watched that one either. Yeah, but I don't know. That show was really compelling until the, that last season. That last season was just kind of a mess. Of Lost? Um, of Dexter. Hmm. So, this last one from the dollar store is from Pirates of the Caribbean, which I got really excited about. It's oh, yeah. Barbosa or Captain Barbosa. And I, this... he's actually a pretty interesting character. I think. Is this like one of the... Um, I think it's from the first movie, huh? Because there's like five of those movies now, isn't there? Uh, like five or six. I have lost track. Yeah. That first one's pretty good. I don't remember anything about the other ones. I think the best thing about those that movie is the theme. It oh. always gets stuck in my head. <laughs> like, I think they casted it's it pretty, pretty well. Oh, I love his little rapier. Oh, they did a really good job on it. Yeah, it looks good. Pretty heavy. Yeah, you could tell by looking at him. Even in the box, you could tell he was going to be a heavy one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so those are all the ones that we found at the dollar store today. Yeah, it's really exciting when they do have pops. 
We've gone before and we got one that was a uh, Disney one. Did we? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, usually we go and we only we only find a couple. But today we I guess we lucked out. There was a few there was like a couple sports ones there, but we didn't pick those up. Yeah. We might eventually, but I don't know. But they had USC and a and a, one of the football players, I'm yeah. not sure. I don't remember who it was. It's not someone that I recognize, but I don't really follow football either. So what was your, your favorite pop that we picked up today? I would say there were two I was super, super excited about. The Ninth Doctor and Captain Barbosa. Yeah, those ones. Of cool. these ones. I guess, uh, well, I think this one was probably my favorite, just because of the way it looks. Yeah, it looks they pretty did cool. a really good job on it. Kind of reminds me of a Golden Axe on Sega Genesis. Oh, I also really like the snowball. Yeah. The psycho, I think it's psycho snowball. Something like that. The Secret Life of Pets one, just because it's supposed to be an exclusive. So, let us know which one was your favorite. Yeah, let us know if you guys uh, have any like places you like to go to look for pops, like the dollar store, like places that you wouldn't think there would be pops. Or have you ever gone to a dollar store and found some pretty good bo uh, pretty good pops? Yeah. And if you haven't, try check it out now. Yeah. Because you never know what you might find. You might look out. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you next time. Bye.